Good morning, Calvary, and welcome to your word for the day. My name is Pastor Mitch, and today our verses are 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 15 through 18. A couple of weeks ago, my phone, it was acting up. The internet service on it simply would not work the way it is supposed to. See, I would try to download stuff and nothing worked. Even trying to open up a web page was pretty much impossible. None of my apps were working right, and outside of a few text messages, most of the messages were not coming through. It was very frustrating, but having some experience in tech support, I knew to try a few tricks. So I turned my Wi-Fi and data off and then back on. No change. I restarted my phone and crossed my fingers that that would fix it. And again, no change. So I saw there was an update that had already downloaded and was ready to install. So I installed the update and still no change. After trying everything that I could, I decided that I needed to do a full network reset that would wipe out all of my saved settings. Every network and password that I had saved was going to be gone. My, my home network, the password for the Wi-Fi at work, the password to um, my mom and dad's Wi-Fi, all of that was going to be gone. So I did the network reset and I let it run through its reboot and it returned my phone to a place where it was basically new. None of the old network's passwords or sharing settings were still in place. I had to start all over as if my phone was fresh out of the box. But when I did this, everything began working again. Sometimes in our own lives as Christians, things don't seem to go the way that we think that they should. You know, we want to do better, but we keep failing or falling into the same habits. We want to change the way we live from the way we were before we were saved but we keep letting ourselves be influenced by the same people and same things. We wanna change the way that we treat others. But we keep letting our jealousy, our anger, our pain control our actions. In 2 Corinthians 6 verses 15 through 18, we learn this. It says, what harmony can there be between Christ and the devil? How can a believer be a partner with an unbeliever? And what union can there be between God's temple and idols? For we are the temple of the living God and as God said, I will live in them and walk among them. I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among unbelievers and separate yourselves from them, says the Lord. Don't touch their filthy things and I will welcome you. I will be your father and you will be my sons and daughters, says the Lord Almighty. We often try to hold on to the things that we did um, or the person that we were before we started following Christ. We think that if we just change a few things here or there, if we just make some small changes, then we'll be able to live the lives of purpose that God has called us to. But the truth is that we can't just make minor changes, but what we actually need is a full reset. On our baptism shirts on the front, it says a new creation, which comes from 2 Corinthians 5.17. It says, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, they are a new creation. The old has passed away and behold, the new has come. See, we cannot be the people we were before we met Jesus and be his followers. When we have a real encounter with Jesus, it should inspire us to, to change and it should draw us into a new way of living. So today, my challenge is for you is to examine your heart and to truly begin to give up those things that you're holding on to from your old life, the things of the world, and to start truly living as a new creation. Thank you for tuning in to your word for the day. Like and share this video, and we will see you tomorrow.